Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I will show you how to create a chain by following a curve without any distortion. Just by using the curve modifier you will get this kind of distortion. This might be handy for a rope, pipe, or the like, but for a chain it's not desirable, so I'll show you a simple technique to avoid this. Start by creating a torus with the parameters you want. In edit mode, switch to X-ray mode by pressing Alt plus Z to select half of the object and move the selection constraining it on the X-axis. Set the geometry on the origin. Create a plane and select the chain link then select the plane by holding Shift and press Ctrl plus P to create a parent link. Now select the plane, go to Object Properties and check, Face, in the Instancing tab. Now an instance of the chain link has been created at the location of the plane surface. We will be able to use the plane with the curve modifier and an array. The plane will be affected by the distortions of the curve modifier, but an instance of the chain link will be placed in the same place but completely intact. Now move the plan in edit mode so that you have the left end of the chain link at the location of the center of the scene. This will allow you to start your chain right at the start of the curve. You can mask the original chain link with H so that it is not disturbing. Now add an array to the plane and create a curve of the shape you want. Then add the curve modifier. Select the curve and adjust the number of repetitions of the array according to the size of the curve. Uncheck relative offset and check constant offset and modify the distance of the x-axis until the internal surface of the links is more or less in collision, like that. Now we want the angle of the intermediate links to be successively changed to 90 degrees. Create an empty then in the array modifier select the empty. Then change the rotation of the empty 90 degrees on the x-axis. It is finished, you can if you wish, hide the plane in object properties. Now you can modify the curve as you want, you will notice that there is no distortion or problem at any angle. If you want to apply all of that and convert the instances to real independent objects, you just need to select the plane, then object, a plea, make instances real. You can now modify each link in the chain to make retouching. Hope this tutorial helped you. Ask me questions in the comments I would try to answer them. 